Hello, so we've had a, a series of incidents recently uh, involving drivers sustaining muscular skeletal disorder injuries uh, from opening curtain side trailers like the one uh, you see here. Uh, so one of the first things you should do when you are conducting a, a defect check on the trailer is do a, a walk around check to ensure that there are no defects. If you do find defects on the, uh, the, the side of the, the trailer, you should record them on the truck file app. You should also get on your phone and report it to uh, management, transport management or the supervisors. The trailer workshops team will then be deployed to rectify whatever the issue is with the trailer. If however you find that there are no issues with the trailer, no defects with the trailer, the purpose of this video today is to show you the safest possible way of opening the trailer, reducing the risk of a muscular skeletal injury. Over the clip to make sure that when you release the pressure it doesn't fall squatting on the face or do any damage to you. Yeah, and you gradually lift it up and take off the hook. Okay, repeat this numerous times as you walk around the trailer to make sure that they're all released. We're then going to release the pressure on the curtain at the back and free the pole from its locked position. You're then, Nathan, going to take it, take it a couple at a time. You're going to grasp hold of two metal clips, gradual, then walking back down, making sure you get a firm grip. Yeah? Do not! Pull on there and there. If you do, when you move it, that'll just pull through. You must hold the metal brackets with a gentle pull. Don't meet the gap, okay. so that you're not you're not putting yourself under any pressure or strain. If it does snag, just pull the curtain out. It's been a bit of a windy day where the curtain will just go in. Yeah. We're just going to take it step by step. It's not a race to open it. You've got plenty of time. Dangerous, John. You're not exerting yourself. You're reducing the risk. You're reducing the risk. You're not exerting yourself. You can see there, it's not hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you're doing it nice and steady, get into a good rhythm where you make sure you get your hands clasped around the the ratchet, the locker mechanism. Yeah. Yeah. Making sure. There's no effort involved there. Yeah. Yeah. It's to get hold of the pole at the bottom. Yeah. And just rush it all the way down, cause. I think there's some sort of race. Yeah. But if your hand slips off there, you're going backwards. Or you can tear your shoulder muscle. Or you can tear your shoulder muscle if it jumps or anything yeah. else, yeah? Yeah. So the best way to do it is for two clips at a time. Make sure you've got that nice firm grasp. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's underneath, use your two thumbs to push it in so that it's locked in place. Make sure you pull that toggle out the way and just grip it like Make sure both grips are in. Yeah. yeah. So you pull that out of the way slightly. Push it underneath. Well done. <laughs> 